There it goes. It's recording. Show in five, four, three, two, one. Coming to you from the dark recesses of the proverbial Dawn Forge pouch. This is episode two, two, two of the Shattered Soul Stone. The end is near. Today's podcast is brought to you by Audible. Get your free audiobook download at bit.ly slash soulstone2019. Over 180,000 titles to choose from for your iPod, MP3 player, or real man phone. Today is August 4th, 2019, and I am your main man, Dead Greed. Today, I brought, like, one of my second favorite type people coming to you from, coming to you from a handful of hard drives and PC parts. All the PC parts. It's Shazam. What's going on? (laughs) You looked at me kind of weird when I said that, brother. (laughs) It's because it's it's for some reason it stuttered on my end and you said it twice. (laughs) I didn't say it twice. Oh. (laughs) (laughs) Just chalk it up to, to um, your internet or something. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, that's how you know that we do these uh, live. We, we don't have just a bumper. <laughs> this is what it is, brother. How was your yeah. week? Um, it was all right. I wouldn't call it a week in gaming. <laughs> <laughs> It was a weekend assembling. I told, like I told um, King Tut um, yesterday. I go, one of these days I'll realize that this um, that this show's gonna kill me. <laughs> and then when I figure that out, it's probably gonna be too late. Um, but as you as you know, months ago, right after I did a show, I go to bed. And my back hurts, and I can't go to bed. Oh, that's my fault. <laughs> so, last week, oh, we, we do a show. I turn, <laughs> you can I blame t- it on me. I turn my computer off. I go to bed. I wake up the next day, go to work, come back home, and my, my computer won't turn on. And it's like, son of a bitch. It worked. It worked 12 hours, like 16 hours ago. What the hell, you know? It was probably that uh, that transsexual that lives right down the road from you. The, you know, the one you're always mean to, him, her. <laughs> she probably broke into your apartment and, like, unplugged and plugged your PC in over and over again until it didn't work no more and then left. Yeah. Apparently... The X99 boards from Intel have a problem with the problem. The motherboard frying the processor. Um, this computer is two years old. I bought it in January of 2017. And either have a motherboard or a processor that's fried. But I could get that fixed. But I, I can't go... Like, I, I don't want to go days and weeks without a computer. I, I can't. Like, I, I turned on my Switch, and I was like, I don't want to play a Switch. I want to play a broken computer. I don't want to play a Switch, you know? Hey, the funny part of that is when your computer was just fine, you played a lot of Switch. Yeah, I know. So, um, so yeah, I go to Newegg's website, and I, and I order a bunch of parts. And I two-day them because, again, I want, want the ship by the weekend. Um, so Thursday after work, all the stuff got delivered. Um, minus um, a graphics card. I had a 1080. So I put a 1080 back in a new computer. Um, I put my capture card that I never used in the new computer. Maybe I'll use it one of these days. I don't know. And 
I put my hard drive in there because I just bought a hard drive literally like what three weeks ago, four weeks ago, something like that. So put that in a new computer and um, yeah, had that running Thursday night and I ask you, I go, um, was the PTR over? And you're like, yeah, it's over. I'm like, ah. <laughs> I figured something out. You know how we had like really long queues to get into the to the PTR? Yeah. Well, as soon as your computer broke, we didn't have queues no more. I know, right? So it was your fault. It was. I think your computer was like drawing too much power from the yeah from the servers. Your, all your I thought it was Blizzard's fault. I was wrong. <laughs> No, it was fine. It was fine on their end. It was fine on my end. You could get in. You could get out. You could switch characters. You could just leave. You could do one rift and go do something else. Just log out and come back. Fire it right back up. It was spe- spectacular. Well, we did that on, what, Wednesday? Uh, no, Sunday or something. We did one rift and then stood around for a half hour. <laughs> yeah, but, well, it wasn't a half hour. It was an hour and ten minutes. But, yeah. <laughs> I mean, some people had to, like, look at their stash. Some other people had to, like, buy a bunch of bags and then go through all the gear in the bags. And then some people had to, like, figure out what spells they were using and what spell coefficiency they wanted to run. Little did they know, little did they know that was my last day in the PTR. <laughs> no, they knew. They knew. They knew because I have a psychic. I have a psychic that works on my route. She doesn't work on my route. She lives on my route. And she told me, Thou thou man named Shazam shall not be further in Diablo PTR. It was a little cryptic at first, but then, like, when I got home, I was like, Oh, oh, that's what she said. And then she asked if she had any packages, and I was like, No. Still bugs the crap out of me that the psychic doesn't know. If she has mail, she yeah. asks me every day. It bugs me. She should know that already. Yeah, bro. I just look. It bugs me. I mean, I'm, I'm, maybe I'm being petty. I'm not sure, but that bugs me a lot. I've told her that bugs me, <laughs> and she doesn't know that either. She doesn't know that it, that it, that's bugging me. That she 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 just like oh, anyway. So that's yeah. So, um, so yeah, Thursday I got my computer running at, um, late that night I I went to bed and then Friday, Friday I got home from work and I played Diablo for a while and Saturday I get up and I'm like, I'm going to watch some Netflix. Friday I decided I want to watch Avengers on my, my TV that you guys can't see. And play Diablo on this TV, and it's gonna be it's gonna be wonderful. Like three hours of the Avengers and Diablo, it's gonna be great. But then um, iTunes decided that every time that you run full screen or you boot any um, movie, it's gonna blacken the other screen just because just for shits and gigs. Yeah, mine's been doing that lately. So I couldn't do that, so I was like, next best thing is I'll just Netflix it. And, um, yeah, so I Netflixed it. Netflix on this TV, Diablo on this TV. Four riffs later, I get a blue screen for two days. Just happens about every fourth rift when I'm playing playing Diablo and Netflix in or playing Diablo and talking to people in chat. King Tut didn't realize that's why I left chat the other night. <laughs> but um, I updated the BIOS today. I started watching Netflix on this another you know another life whatever I think that's the the, the show right. Started watching that on this screen. Played Diablo on this screen. I had about six riffs and I didn't have a single problem. So, cross fingers, everything's fixed. Um, so, yeah. 
AMD Ryzen 7. I didn't want to buy the Ryzen that uh, I didn't want to buy a 3900 because next month they're going to have a 3950 come out and um, I figured a 3700 would keep me over until next month. If I decide to get another processor then. Um, but I didn't want to go 3800 because I watched a YouTube video. It's people that know their, know their stuff saying that it's an extra 50 bucks and you can overclock a 3700 to the same point you can overclock a 3800. So therefore, there's no reason to spend an extra 50 bucks on something that's going to have the same performance at the end of the day. So, um, because initially, whenever these came out, I was like, I was thinking, I'll just buy a 3800. It's right in the middle of the top end ones, and I'll just be done with it. But then I wrote, then, then I watched a YouTube video. It says it's we're just wasting 50 bucks. So, just bought a 3700. And so far, so good. I overclocked it uh, like 4.1 um, gigahertz um, yesterday and didn't have a single problem other than, uh, you know, blue screens for stupid BIOS issues. But yeah, that's basically been my week in gaming. I, I, it ain't overheating? No, it, it runs like really cool. Hmm, nice. C because of the air conditioner and the, you know, uh, not tower anymore. It's a cube. Lovely. I've been, I've been thinking after the season, you know, however long we got, you were, you wanted like a real time strategy game. And I, I looked at, I looked into like every benchmark of CPUs, graphics cards, stuff like that. I always see this game. And I'm like, this weekend I actually looked to see what this game was. It's real time strategy. It's called Ashes of the Singularity. They say there's like hundreds of units like on a screen at once and going towards like you know, like your enemy and stuff like that. It's kind of like you know, Starcraft. Starcraft only like larger scale. So I don't know. Like I'd probably buy that on on sale. Like, if it ever became on sale. Should have looked into that whenever the summer sale was going on, but... I don't know. We'll see. Like, that's yeah. supposed to be, like, a real... Like, a real computer test. <laughs> you know? But... I don't know. We'll see. But, yeah. It's basically been my week in gaming, and... Hasn't really been that much gaming, but it's been a week... <laughs> yeah, well, man, I um, like I said before, I was you know jamming on the PTR. It was a um, Sunday. We had stupid cues. It was just you know Monday. It wasn't. It was cues still on Monday and Tuesday. We didn't have no cues. It was just get right in Wednesday. Get right in Thursday. You know, it was just and uh, Thursday I got home and the you know, PTR was down. So at least I had two days no cues and I don't know. Um, I can tell you that um, I'm excited about the next season after PTR. It was um, those circles are like whatever. Like you can use them, you can't. Whatever it depends on like what you're playing. Uh, the the ground effect circles, the season of triune buff, right? So that's a thing. I think the most exciting thing about this season is not the season of Triune buff. Um, although I have been wrong about buffs in the past because I was really, I really didn't like the, like, I was just like Legacy Nightmares. But I ended up really liking it. So I don't know. Maybe I'm going to love the season of Triune buff. But the, to me, what I'm excited about is like, the Captain Crimson's and the and the the Echoing Fury or Edge Fury or whatever it is and uh, you know all those uh, all those newly updated pieces that they're giving us this season. I'm, I'm excited about that stuff. It's um, 
Man. Uh, I, I played some more Jade. Uh, I can't do it, man. I cannot do it another season, brother. I know I said it last time, too, bro. Well, I can't do it no more, man. I'm, um... I am I am all I'm off the witch doctor again and left something I don't know but uh, I'm thinking wizard I'm thinking I I'm thinking I might do a, a meteor wizard a Veer's meteor wizard um, with the Captain Crimson set it's supposed to be real powerful it's supposed to be uh, just Merc City uh, all the explosions and all the you know you, you've seen it. It's 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 nuts so so, I'm thinking that's I'm gonna start I think I'm gonna start off that way anyway. And uh, I don't know we'll see how I end up but, I'm, I'm sure I'll I'll start off with the meteor wizard. And um, I don't know we'll see how, see where I'm gonna go from there. Uh, I, I'm sure you're gonna start with the demon hunter, huh? Yeah. So that's yeah. fine. Um, I I was l- really leaning towards Demon Hunter, but I don't know. I don't have a lot of playtime on a wizard, and um, I was just like back and forth. Like, you know, what am I gonna do? Jade? Am I gonna do Jade? Am I gonna do a con? Am I gonna do like rapid fire? Or, you know, um, whatever multi shot or meteor or whatever i'm you know back and forth on the because that's like a hard decision sometimes and um i don't know what oh dmo is uh we were talking about it yeah uh, the, the wizard gets the dmo set so you can do like that frozen orb thing i guess so until you get your set yeah i mean i don't know I, I, I think I just need something. I played so much a con before I played a con. I played so much de- right, like multi shot demon hunter. I played so much necro. I played so much, you know. I played so much uh, witch doctor, and I think I just want something fresh, you know, something I haven't done a lot of. I really thought about the monk, but. I don't know that that label that label wave of light build. I couldn't say it. It it looks very interesting, you know. It looks powerful, but it's a you know it's a legacy and night. I don't want to do another legacy nightmare build. Not right now. Uh, the cool thing is the legacy of dreams. So now any time any season going forward. You, you can use that. Um, so I kind of thought it was cool that they gave it to us, but now I guess no more Legacy and Nightmare seasons, huh? Probably not. Because if they give you a Legacy and Nightmare season, the only thing that it does is it gets rid of one legendary gem slot. So, yeah, I don't know. I I always assume that eventually they they loop back around to to these buffs, but maybe not. You know, I just always assume that because, like, why why wouldn't you? You know, you had even if you did ten, you could loop back around and do. But man, maybe not. Which kind of makes me sad because I really like the Ring of Royal Grandeur. We ain't gonna be playing Diablo three enough for ten more seasons anyway. Bro, you, you think, don't know that. You think about it. You don't know that. Yeah, oh yeah, I do. <laughs> no, you do not know that. <laughs> really, I it, I wouldn't put it past them. <laughs> if, if they don't come out with another game next year, I think they're. They're gonna their um stockholders are gonna be wanting heads to roll, you know what I mean? Yeah, but I'm just saying <laughs> that's a good point though. I I just made a number up, dude. I didn't I don't know. Yeah, I know. 
Yeah, I mean, maybe they have enough ideas that's going to last them all the way till they get D4 out. But I I just assumed. I just assumed that we were that's what we were going to do. We were going to rotate back to, I don't know, weird. So uh, anyway, yeah, that's, uh, other than PTR, I, I messed around a little bit on uh, live, played some D3. I even played with Ritzy a couple riffs earlier today. Uh, wasn't bad. Just doing some 95s. Oh, shit. That's right. So, remember, like, you were looking for, were you looking for a piece or somebody? I don't remember. Somebody was looking for a piece of gear. And remember what I said? I was like, yeah, just augment your piece and then you'll immediately get a new upgrade. Well, I had a 115 gym and I augmented. My last piece, and literally, literally, did you see it? Yeah. The, yeah. Literally, the next, the very next drift after I augmented that helmet, bam, perfect rolled stats, GG roll, Carnival primal helmet. Now, I'll tell you that I waved at my monitor with the, with only one finger and then left my room for a while because I was like, for, really? Because... Must have went. Yeah, that's, what, that's exactly how it went. <laughs> oh, my God. I mean, really? You will kick me like that? <laughs> like, I mean, I know RNG is like, look, I even, I got you some Gordettos over there. I got you. I mean, I even got him the sweet and spicy nuts. <laughs> I mean, they're sweet and spicy Cajun style nuts, bro. And, and I, I mean, I'm put on, I got tequila over there. I even got him a new exercise thing so he can, like, it's a massage exercise roll. Where you can massage your legs. I, 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 I don't know what else I could do. I mean, thanks for the primal. But did you do that on purpose? It's kind of insulting. <laughs> so, um, my helmet. Uh, Boy, I should log in, huh? Well, yeah, let's do that. Because I got an unbelievable... And this is all season, by the way. Um, I mean, I it, it's... Like, whoo, the number of primals I curr I'm, I'm currently rocking on my, uh, on my Witch Doctor. It's... And... and <laughs> like ridiculous that I'm not murdering like super higher, right? So where the heck is my witch doctor? Heroes. There it is. Inspect. All right. So like my helmet, my pants, death digger pants are primal. My convention of elements are primal. Uh, my Lacumba's ornaments bracers are primal. Uh, my gladiator gauntlets are pri pr uh, primal. My that's my gloves. So I mean, you know, uh, five very well GG roll primals. I mean, yeah, you'd think I'd be murdering the world, huh? I got one. That's not GG. Oh, you should see my death stickers. They're ridiculous. My death stickers are just beyond. It's it's like holy wow. They're um they're int vit poison dart. I mean, 
There's nothing else you need. They're they're freaking. They're actually so good. Oh, my bracers. That's the one. Uh, my bracers were so good. I rolled a secondary on my bracers because they rolled the twenty poison, int, vit, critical hit chance, and I was like, okay, then. I think it was like, you know, I had uh, I replaced the. Um, Oh, dang it. Burr, burr, burr. Like, increased gold. Or, no, not that. The dang, the other one. The Yeah, monster kills. Grand experience. And and I, I replaced that with the physical resistance. Like I said, just, they're just... They're just uh, I've got some really sick gear. So... And still... It's, it's a fundamental problem. I don't care. I don't care how much gear you got. It's a fundamental problem with the witch doctor. You lose those stacks, it's over. I mean, it's just like today. I was playing with Ritzy. Got to the Rift Guardian, and um, you know we're at ninety nine percent. We kill. We kill the um, the last thing. The Rift Guardian pops, but he pops on the other 40. Right before the guy died, I hit. I refreshed my Soul Harvest. The guy dies. We, hit, we turn over to 100%. I Spirit Walk and run as fast as I can. Couldn't get to the Rift Guardian in time. Spirit, spirit Walk, uh, are my damn stacks dropped? He killed me immediately. I died four times trying to teleport to town so that I could go to the Fields of Misery and get some stacks. It, it, it just By the time I got back, Ritzy had already killed the damn thing. So Okay, sweet. Thanks, Ritzy. I mean, not, not, this wasn't Ritzy's fault, but it's like, man, really? Because like, as soon as the, the Rift Guardian pops, all the trash is going out of the Rift. And, you know, the dang thing pops up like 90 miles away you gotta take like a taxi then get on a train take the train to the airport get out the airport and take an uber from the airport tur uh, train station over to the freaking terminal then you gotta check some luggage in you gotta get your carry on ready get on an airplane fly across the ocean you know get off of that wait around for your mother-in-law to pick you up and then you'll you'll see the Rift Guardian. It's like, what the hell? I don't understand why they don't fix that. It's like Jesus. I've lost I have literally I've literally lost Rift Rift over that. I mean that one only cost me a, a roll, so I only got four upgrades on my gems, but yeah, it's a. Uh, I'd hate to be hardcore in that kind of situation. I don't know how those guys play hardcore witch doctors because your stacks drop and I'm, I don't know. It's. I guess you just gotta wear town portals and just if your stacks drop, you just gotta. That's it. You just gotta go down. I mean, I guess. I don't know. Anyway, maybe I'm horrible at witch doctors. Hey, maybe I'm horrible at this game. Who knows? <sighs> so anyway, uh, it, um, we know that the, this season's going to end soon on the um, 18th, right? Yep. Yep. So y'all got like a couple weeks. You know, so you don't got your wings or or whatever you're looking for, or if you don't got your Paragon you want, you know, get in there and smash on it, because it's, uh, it's going to be soon. We don't, they didn't give us a, um, they didn't give us any corrections to the PTR, so right now, as it stands, PTR will go, will be the, the what was on the PTR will be the, the Season 18 patch notes, basically. Um... I find it 
somewhat odd uh, that they didn't tell us. They didn't give us updated patch notes. And they didn't tell us the beginning of the next season. I don't know if you remember last PTR we had for this season. When they said it was going to be a week. And then it went down and then it went back up with the new stuff. Because they changed stuff for the season. And then we tested all that stuff. And I think it was another five or six days, right? And then it went back down. And then they put out new notes. So I, I find it weird that they didn't put any notes out. They didn't retest anything. I don't know. It might go live this way. I'm I'm hoping that they don't they don't mess with that Captain Crimson because that's I'm I'm more excited about that than anything else. Yeah, me too. So I don't know. We'll see. Um, I'm sure next show or next couple shows we'll know exactly when the season's going to start. They did say that they were going to put that stuff out before the season ends. So, in the next couple of shows, guys, we'll, we'll get that news to you. And if there's any change to PTR, we'll, of course, we'll be talking about that. Um, but I don't know that they're not going to test it. If, or I, I, I don't think they'd have a second PTR. PTR is over with now. So, hmm. yeah, I don't know. I, I, if they change stuff, I guess they're not testing it. So, um, I know you have, uh, I know you have some, uh, some stuff written up here on that news. If you want to go over that. Yeah, we, um, we forgot to mention last week. So Greed told me to put it in the show notes. Um, Warcraft 3 Reforged, if you pre-purchase it, you get a, um, an in-game pet for Diablo 3. Um, Malganus? Yeah, Malganus is the um, is the pet. Do you know when we're going to get them pets? Season 18. Oh, I got you. Or at least I assume, right? I was gonna say I looked at um, I looked at my pets. This it was either yesterday or the day before, and I just still didn't have one. No, I mean it was um, it was a season eighteen thing, right? So I, I or it was a PTR thing. So and it they were in PTR. Yeah, I didn't pay attention in PTR. Yeah, they were in the PTR, so I'm sure it's gonna be a season eighteen thing. I did not pre-purchase Warcraft three because I'm still on the fence on whether I want it or not. I mean, I almost bought it just because of this pet. <laughs> like, so, that's what I did. I thought you bought it. I'm like, okay, I'll just go buy it then. So I bought well, it. <laughs> I was thinking about it. Did I tell you I was going to buy it? I can't remember. I'm going to go with I did not tell you that. I thought you said, when, when you were in the PTR and you said that that you had the pet or whatever. I just assumed that you bought Warcraft three, so I just I just bought it too. <laughs> I got the original Warcraft three. Now I got the updated uh, one. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, I guess we could talk about. Uh, I guess we could talk about classic, right? My classic's fixing to come out. Yeah, that's coming. Soon. Is it the 10th? Uh, August. It's soon. I would have... I honestly don't know. I don't know. Well, no. Screw it. I'll just go to the website. Hold on. Let me... Let me go. Wow, classic release date. 27th, 2019. You gonna you gonna go in? <sighs> I mean you have to have a, a an active WoW subscription. 
And, um, you know, I don't want an active WoW subscription. I'll tell you why I'm not going to. Because I'm predicting the new season to start on the 23rd. And I'm not playing WoW Classic a couple days after that. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to be busy. Um, <laughs> yeah, if it's if it rolls out Tuesday... Uh, even if they... Even if they drop the season on the thirtieth, still I don't want to play Warcraft. I don't. It's three days. That's classic. You're not. What are you gonna do? Level of twelve? They ain't oh, drop. Yeah. They ain't dropping it on the thirtieth because the you know Labor Day is on what the second. Yeah, they I don't, don't want to do that. I don't foresee them doing that. Oh snap! I forgot about Labor Day, bro. I'm off on Labor Day. You don't wear white after Labor Day. Do what? It's a, it's on um, Duke's a Hazard movie. Huh. I don't wear white anyway. They 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 yelled at they yelled at Burt Reynolds. I think he played Boss Hog on there. He's like, you, you know, you're not supposed to wear white after Labor Day. <laughs> I didn't get it. Like whatever. I should send you this link, man. You can get the Gorehow Axe on the World of Warcraft for five hundred and fifty dollars and fifty cents. Wow. I just wanted the big. I always wanted the hammer. They have a Wow Overloaded sweatshirt. Uh, fifty-four bucks. I always wanted the hammer, the one that's made out of stone, and the um. Obviously, Frostmourne. I'm going to two weapons I want from, from Warcraft. Uh, yeah, mark the calendars. That's great. Anyway, so yeah, that, that's WoW Classic. I don't know if y'all guys are into it. I played the um, demo. I almost said PTR. But I played the demo during BlizzCon, and you know it was a, uh, it was real WoW classicy. I don't think I want to grind that much. I mean, it was cool back in two thousand and four, um, and hmm. I did think about like doing a hunter, like a. You know, but see, the problem with that is if I go to WoW Classic and I make a hunter, then I got to make a human warrior because I got to have a bank alt, right? Then I got to run to Stormwind and I got to recruit four idiots to sign a stupid guild voucher thing and then kick them out of my guild so I can have my own guild bank. Then I got to freaking, uh, then I got to start seven other characters and name them completely opposite things and start w working the auction house. I, I don't want to get back into it, brother. <laughs> all that to play, all that to play WoW for you. <laughs> like, you have no idea. It's ridiculous. I might, I might have a problem. I might have, a, I might have an, I might have an auction house addiction. <laughs> you, you know there, uh, you know there's an auction house cap now. It used to not be, and I wonder. I almost want to do it just to see if they left, the, if they installed the the cap into WoW Classic, because there was not a cap until. I think it was. Just like last year or the year before. No, no, it's been a while. There was a cap during Burning Crusades, I know for sure. It was either right before Burning Crusades or right after Burning Crusades when they put a cap in. And the reason why... Well, anyway, the cap is you can only have 998 auctions at a time. Now, if you have 20 silver uh, ore... 
or 20 copper ore up, that only counts as one auction, you know, it, unless you put it in like one at a time and that's 20 yeah. auctions. But you can only have 998 auctions and, and that's, uh, I'm not going to say it was directly related to me, but I took a five day ban for it. Um, because I kept crashing the, I kept crashing the server, um, because I kept posting and posting and posting and posting and posting and I would overload the auction house and then it would just, the whole server would just be like, bro. I, I know what they did recently. And this was like in the last year or two is if you repeatedly put one item, like one or one or one or one or one or one or. They'll just keep raising your, um, your, you know, your posting thing yeah, until, posting yeah, until you don't want to do it anymore. Well, that's because um, there's, I know this is, we're getting real wow here, but that's because of bots. And and like what I would do to bots is, people would have auction house bots, and so let's say that whatever ore you're looking at, let's just say copper ore because, I don't know, names, right? And let's just say you're looking to buy copper ore, right? But copper ore price is expensive, and you don't want to buy copper ore at that price. Maybe you want to buy copper ore at a much lower price. Let's just make up a number here, and let's just say copper ore is one gold per stack, right? Just, just to make a number up. So what I would do is I would is I would – Buy a bunch of copper ore at the one gold a stack price. And then I would have it in my bag. Okay, the the bot will post a bunch more copper ore. So I would go back into the auction house with the copper ore I just bought from the bot. And I'd place one copper ore at 99 silver. And then he would post under undercut me at ninety eight silver. Then I'd go ninety seven, and he'd go ninety six. I'd go ninety five, ninety four, ninety three, ninety two, ninety one, and I'd get him all the way down to like twenty silver a cop, twenty silver for one stack of ore, right? And then I'd murder his whole inventory, cancel all my auctions, and then repost all the ore that I just bought. For two, for two gold, and and then all I would just make all that. I would just it, it's so much. It's I did it so much. Uh, it was ridiculous. Just just manipulate the market like crazy, and that's just so you don't even have to like have any items for that. You just have to have gold. That's I mean, you know. It's just like in the real world, if you don't have any money, you know, it's hard to, you know, like, you know, you couldn't go to the stock market, but you can, you can manipulate the stock market like that. I'm sure the FCE or whatever the hell they're, SE, Security Exchange, SEC, S, anyway, they, I know it's a Security Exchange Commission. I'm sure they wouldn't be happy about it, but you could do that for in real life if, uh, if you had enough money, I mean, you'd have to have some money. And then, wow, you had to have some money to do it. But yeah, you'd, I, I just would. Anyway, like you're saying, now that they, they, they've changed that. But, uh, yeah, it's WoW Classic, so there may not be a cap. Anyway, the point of my story is, I don't think I want to get back into that. Because when I quit making money in WoW... I was running six accounts, five auction house accounts, and one actual account that I played on. And all my auction house accounts were only auction house tunes. I didn't even have tunes that were like, I didn't even have tunes that were leveled, you know, that I played. They were only auction house. It was, it was the only, they all had their individual ba guild banks, they had their bank, they had, and I would just, I would just rotate the machine and just keep, just I would just keep murder. And like I say, you can only put nine hundred and ninety-eight auctions at a time. So once you get nine hundred, you know, once you once you auction house cap on one 
on one account, then you go to the next account, the next account. And then by the time you do it four times or five times, you, you go back and, and you've already sold a bunch of stuff on your first one. So then you pull items off there and put new items up. And then you go to the next one, next one, next one. It's just a, I, I have so much time and wow. I, I wish I had a breakdown. Like you spent this much time at the auction house. He spent this much time questing, or you know what I mean? Because it would be ridiculous, and there wouldn't be no way anyway. Because it'd be like, you know, I it was on six accounts and you know, fifty characters. It's kind of like Diablo, where you know you have a hundred hours on the Barbarian and like three hours on a monk and. 75,770 hours on a demon hunter or whatever, right? It, you don't really know how much hours you... I mean, you could math it up, right? But... Yeah, so that's that. World of Warcraft. <laughs> literally the way that... Literally the reason why they call me Greed. Because I, I, I go sideways on that shit hard, so... And I, I, the last year I played WoW, I didn't even, I tried to stay out of the auction house a lot. Still, I didn't do it very often. <laughs> anyway. Well, anyway, the other news is, um, you know, we got mail. And, uh, you know, I'll let, uh, I read the last one, so I'll let you read this one, brother. Um. Great and Shazam, I'll start with a quick recap of my Diablo 3 experience this year. It started, the, I started the year playing Final Fantasy 15 on Xbox One, but got bored fairly quickly. I decided to throw the old Diablo 3 back, in the, back into the Xbox One. I had gotten Diablo 3 on PC when it first came out. I bought it on the Xbox 360 when it first came out, and I bought it on the Xbox One when it first came out. <laughs> but I, I had never done seasons. I fired up the seasonal leaderboard, oh, Leapquake Barbarian, and did a GR 102. And um, I thought, damn, this game is. It's still amazing, but the course, but of course, Xbox One is still filled with cheaters. Along, although less in seasons, I decided that it was time to fire up the the old gaming PC. It hadn't been used since iRacing many years ago. I ran into the same thing. I personally ran into the same thing on um, PlayStation 4. That's why I came over to the PC, only it was, you know, a couple years earlier. I found the show on the podcast, on the on my podcast app, and I joined a Discord. And Clay, in a month or two, in the season 16, I had only ever played Barb, a little Crusader, and a little Monk. Um, I, of course, made a Barb. And really enjoyed the season with the Ring of World Grandeur buff. It was my first season, and I um, and I set modest goals of a thousand Paragon, GR one ten clear. I made all the popular bar builds, and I pushed with the IK six Hoda build. And ended the season with a GR 111 clear and 1350 Paragon. Then I put I put me around the top 200 in a solo barb, which wasn't bad for the third or fourth best barb build that season. They made big changes to the Crusader Blessed Shield build for season 17, and I had to go for I had to go for it. I made all the Crusader builds, but Blessed Shield was 
by far my favorite. I set a new goal, a 1500 Paragon and a GR 115 clear. I would have a whole season and only play one class per season. The season was also being season has also been amazing and I am sitting at 1550 Paragon which now he's sitting at 1600 right now. Uh, he, he got that today. Yes. And it and a GR120 clear currently pushing me to 65 Solo Crusader. I have readjusted my goals to 1600 Paragon and a GR122 clear. I will start really farming and pushing for those two riffs, riff levels. Um, the coming two weeks, yeah, you better you better start pushing a little quicker. <laughs> With the announcement of the new Lawn Legacy Gym, Legacy of Dreams, I am once again really excited for season 18. Ever since I saw the Demon Hunter Lawn Rapid Fire GR clear, I knew it was something I wanted to try, and now I will get the chance. This season, I'm. I'm planning to set my goal of 1700 Paragon and a GR125 clear. I'm assuming that will be the lawn rapid fire. But I will also always make all the Demon Hunter builds and find one that's likely best. Good luck to everyone and their goals this season, this season and next. Um, Chris King Tut Tunnel. Um, so yeah. Yeah, brother. I mean, uh, whoo. Those are some, those are some goals, man. <coughs> 1,700 Paragon in one season. It can be done. I did it sure. last season. Yeah, yeah. How high did you go last season? You went hella high. I think 1,766. Yeah, yeah. Crazy, bro. Yeah, I mean, that lawn, that rapid fire, it does look nice. It does th- look nice. I think, and this is this is just what I think, because, because I mostly play Dima Hunter. I would think that a Shadows set with either Captain Crimson's maybe not even Captain Crimson's the other one um what the, the hell's hell? guilds yeah i think that one would um either that or both would make the you know the shadow set way more powerful uh, I know I know they don't run a lot of, of of cooldown and they don't run any um resource cost reduction because you throw a you throw a uh, knife and you throw a knife again and as long as you hit something that you already hit with the first three knives you don't ever lose any um anything so I don't know but I would assume like somebody at least was not a uh, scorch necklace that doesn't do anything for them with the um because they run um Cabo Soros Traveler's Pledge. Um, I don't know, I, I think Shadow Set would be, of course, I said that this season and the um, you know, Rapid Fire t- beat it pretty handedly. Um, no, we'll see. I still think somebody could do something with that shadow set, though. Yeah. Well, um, we'll see how the build shake out. I, I mean, you know, like uh, Ring of World Grandeur. To last season was that that was the big thing, you know. But uh, almost every class, the 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 high clear was the the lawn because of the the Legacy Nightmares buff. Then of course they come out with a Legacy Nightmares season, 
this season, current season, fixing to be over though. Um, you know, they come out with that, and boom, everybody's murdering it with Legacy of Nightmares builds. I mean, it's, it's it's like so many lawn builds on top. Uh, every class, you know, just it's just just all. There's, I don't even really know of that many builds that's not Legacy and Nightmare builds right now. That's top. I mean, everything you know, like you know, you got the lawn rapid fire, you got the, uh, you know, you got the the lawn carnival, you got the the lawn uh, crusader shield bash, which I call Captain America, but whatever. But I mean, you got the the, you got the, I, I guess. The one class would be Wizard, right? Chantoto's uh, Veer's Wizard. They're the one class that's on top that's not Lawn. Although they had that weird Lawn Meteor build. Yeah, Star Pack. Yeah, Star Pack. But it's high, but it's not their top build. Uh, I don't know about Monk, the, the, the Wave of Light, maybe. The Barbarian, that Lawn Charger thing. That's top. So I don't know, almost every class, except for, of course, like Wizard, because of Chen Totos, but... Yeah, I don't know I don't know what they're going to do to dethrone the, the, the long sets, especially since they're giving us the Legacy of Dream. So I'm not sure... I don't know, maybe, they are, maybe they're thinking that the Captain Crimson is going to dethrone the Legacy of Nightmare. Maybe. I mean, maybe that's why they won't change it. Hopefully, right? <laughs> I hope. So yeah, I don't know, man. Hey, uh, King Tut, bro. Uh, thank you for the email. Um, I appreciate it. I hope you sent money too. And I know what you're thinking. Like you already sent an email. How in the hell can you send us money? Well, you can go to uh, Patreon slash Soulstone and you can send us money. I mean, this guy here don't have a job no more. His computer broke down. He needs new glasses. He don't have shaving cream. I mean, it's it's it. We gotta come on, help us out, guys. This is we we need money, and 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 emails. We like both. Um, in all serious, if you're out there and you love the show, uh, and you just can't donate or don't like Shazam, uh, you know, don't worry about it. The best, the best thing you can do for us is just listen to the show. Uh, if you can donate, God dang, you're my, you're my hero because this guy's gonna he's gonna need food, and it's 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 a dire straight situation here. And he's definitely gonna need some kind of look. I mean, look at this computer. He had to buy like a cube thing. He couldn't even get like a regular a tower. Anyway, yeah, help us out. And uh, if, if that's what you want to do, but yeah, you know, uh, we got we got a Patreon. We're working on it, still under construction. Uh, unfortunately, there's we got some news coming for it, but we really didn't do anything this week with it. Uh, partially my fault. Uh, partially, uh, partially my fault because I broke Shazam's computer somehow with magic. I didn't say it broke my computer. Well, the show did. Whatever. You did blame it on me. When? You were like, I, I played with you and then went to bed and woke up and the computer was broke. I said the show's the show, not you. All right. So the show broke your computer. Anyway, I don't know, guys. Just just go to just go over there if that's what you want to do, and uh, you know, go quack on over, quack on over to the to, to the Patreon and 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 give us those bills. You know, so, yeah. Anyway, anyway, I don't know. I I could do ten of those stupid. I mean, I'm not gonna. I'll spare you, guys. Just hook us up if that's what you want to do. Thank you very much. The the, the only thing that's that's under construction on this Patreon thing is the tears. And I had, to, I had to say that to King Tut because Tut was like, I want to donate, but I want it to go to the show. And you guys keep saying it's under construction. Um, 
we're, we're, we just literally got to figure out the tiers. Like, if you want to send money, send money. Yeah, yeah but, we'll still get it. But the based on the amount of money that you send, eventually there's going to be a tier for that. <laughs> and, yeah, I'm, I'm just saying, you know. And um, if uh, I'll worry about that later. Never mind. Go ahead. Yeah, just send us money. We like it. Um, literally, my favorite thing. My first favorite thing is money. Everything else is my second favorite thing. So, you know, emails is even my second favorite thing. We like emails and money. So just send it to us. Thank you very much. Uh, Who we got friends, and that friend is named Jen. She's got a podcast. Her podcast called Jen Lore, Jen's Lore Corner, and I know what you're thinking. Jen's Lore Corner. That sounds like a. That sounds like some kind of magic with brooms and 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 featherweights. But but it's not. It's a it's it's a podcast all about storytelling. Uh, in in the Diablo universe, and whoo. So you know, like wow, where can I get this storytelling magic podcast? Well, it's a. Uh, Bookagen.net. That's where you go. You just type that into the into the internets, and and you'll you'll zoom right on over there, and uh, she'll entertain you for minutes at a time, and uh, it'll be great. And and once you listen to all her podcasts, she's got like pictures and blogs and countless minutes of entertainment. So just going on, going on over there, uh, Jen's, Jen's Lore Corner. That's uh, you know, I know that sounds weird, Jen's Lore Corner at the Book of Jen dot net. But yeah, that's that's what it is. So type that in there and uh, hit it up because Jen's uh, Jen's cool, and uh, her her podcast is really good. Honestly, I love it. Or I wouldn't be talking about it, especially for free. Well, yeah, anyway, um, I, I guess uh, Blue Notes, or I don't know if it's a Blue Note or not, but there's um, there's one mention, right? Uh, the Art of Diablo book updates. Woo, woo. I, I don't know. They put some new uh, artwork out. And, they, you know, they had the, if you go on over to Diablo fans, it's on their main page. Uh... I, I would assume that this is a yeah. It says barbarian right here. It it bugs me when they when they draw stuff like this because barbarians cannot use a flail, and this barbarian has a flail. I'm not sure why he has a flail. He's got um, a sword in a in a very dangerous position. And daggers. Okay. Anyway, check out the barbarian. As it's it's cool. Um, you got some monk art here that they're adding. A uh, different female character. Uh, just some of this stuff is pretty cool. The material looks amazing, right? Needs a little more hair, but uh, other than that, he looks pretty sweet. I like the way that the um, souls come off of his wings, or I, I would guess that souls, or maybe that's holy magic, right? Probably. Yeah. Um, they they got the mayor in here. He, he's he's looking like he's looking like he needs to go on a diet, kind of. Uh, they got the traveling merchant. Uh, she she's kicking it with the vulture. I don't know. Anyway, they just got some some different. Uh, they got some new art added in there. Go check it out. I I did immediately notice that that that's a flail though, and uh, to my knowledge, barbarians can't use flails. I don't know if you remember the BlizzCon when Chris Metzen was up on there talking about Diablo, and I think it was their announcement for Reaper of Souls, and they had, like, I don't know, one of the classes up there, 
and he asked one of the audience members asked Chris Metzen if whatever character could use pole arms, and Chris was like, "No." And he was like, "Well, why does the character in your art have a pole arm in his hand?" And, and literally, Chris Metzen like turned around and looked and was like, "Ah, oh, dang it, he does have a pole arm." <laughs> so I don't. I guess there's some kind of communication. I'm not sure who drew this. It's a great picture. I don't know what's up with the flail, but that's a great picture. Maybe he maybe he just killed a a crusader. He's trying to maybe he's maybe he's grouped up with a crusader and that's some of that smart loot 2.0 that flail dropped and he's like trying to run and catch the crusader and be like, Hey, I found a flail for you. It's an ancient weapon. Primal. You want this? <laughs> Maybe that's what that's, that's what this picture's about here. Anyway, yeah, that's that. Um, you have anything else for the show, brother? Um, no. Well, all right. Uh, you got other media? Um, yeah, I watched. Like I said, I watched Avengers Endgame. Started watching it, um, I think, Saturday. And then I would I run into this problem where I start watching a movie mm-hmm. and then immediately I just go... So... <laughs> so, yeah, it took me it took me till today to, to finish watching it. Either that or last night, I can't remember. Um, yeah, I watched that... Um, Really good movie, three hours long. Really long movie, but it's really good. And um, I started watching Afterlife. I watched, I think, the first two episodes of that. I think I'm on, like, the third episode or something like that. That's pretty messed up. Um, It's pretty messed up so far. I don't, you know... I loved it. I don't know where it's going to go from here, but... Oh, you have no idea, bro. It's... It's, um... You say you're just a couple episodes in? I got the I got the thing flying out of the, like, out of the back of the neck. I got that far, and, um... What the hell else? Really weird. And just, like... I think one person got murdered, right? So far. And I think that's about it so far. Everybody's infected or whatever on the on the ship. That's not oh, yeah. sleeping. Yeah, because uh because fat boy couldn't follow instructions. Yeah. So yeah. Uh, anyway, yeah, it's uh I, I loved it. It was uh, I thought it was well done. Uh, I thought it was uh, really really good written. The the writing was really good. The acting I think is superior. Um, I really like how they portray the technology. Obviously they're they're way far advanced than us, you know. Uh, of course it's a sci-fi. You can't have a sci-fi. <laughs> you know it's like. Not as advanced as we are. I mean, I guess you could, but, you know, the whole sci-fi thing is like, I I like the, um, I like how the um, hologram is is, uh, portrayed. I I, I thought it was fantastic. Uh, My only complaint, I guess, about that show so far, and it was just, my complaint is probably not everybody's complaint. Is if you're that far away from Earth and there's like no resources, why does everything gotta be so bright inside of everywhere? Like, don't you wanna power everything down a little bit? Save some <laughs> energy? I thought you were gonna say something else, but okay. But yeah. What bugged me? What bugged me is they're so far away from Earth, right? And they they get on comms and they talk to their family back home and it's instant. 
Mm, come on. I mean, I know they got better technology than us, but light can only travel as fast as light. Well, they said that whenever they're communicating with the with the other planet, with you know, just playing the symphonies, it's only a four second delay. I'm like, really, only four seconds? I think yeah, it'd be a little what, longer than that. <laughs> that's what bugs me though, because they're a um, hundred and it's a hundred and thirty light years apart, and it's a four second delay. Light can only travel as fast as light. You can't speed light up. That's why we have something called the speed of light. Now, theoretically, we can go as fast as light, which we can't. We haven't done it yet. And theoretically, we should be able to push faster than the speed of light. Like, you know, twice as fast or three times faster than the speed of light. In theory, we don't even know if that would work. Um, but anyway, there's a few things, but it's a show, so I, I try to forgo that kind of thing. Um, like I said, I like the acting, I think the hologram, I think the tech, some of the technologies was, um, was, was pretty, pretty good, and, um, I don't know, the more you watch that, bro, the deeper it gets. And uh, anyway, yeah, it was. Um, I was curious to what you thought because I knew you were watching it. <laughs> yeah, that's it's basically all I watched because I haven't had a computer for the last should. couple of days. Oh. <laughs> um, I got back into the kidnapping. Oh, I got a good one for you, bro. It's called American Hangman. It's, um... This is a true kidnapping. This is a a, a, a three-part dynamic kidnapping story. It's really good. I enjoyed it a lot. So the basic premise is... This girl was... This uh, girl was kidnapped and murdered... And they, um, so this guy wakes up and he's, you know, chained up. And there's another guy (laughs) who gets dragged into the room and he's like, what the hell? And the guy starts like, has all these cameras and starts like broadcasting live and is it is that Saul? (laughs) Um they make Saul references (laughs) but it's a it's a great it's a great kidnapping. It's uh anyway I watch it because it's um I enjoyed it. I mean watch the another life first because another life better but yeah, I got me got into another kidnapping. Uh, it's not a documentary; it's a movie, so probably you know just a fiction. So it's not I, real. No, 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 no. It's just a movie. It's a scripted uh, movie with some actors, um, and I don't want to blah 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 because you'll anyway. There's actors in it, and uh, some of the some of the acting wasn't all that good, but man, it's still a good kidnapping. So, uh, I'll take crappy acting and kidnapping over, um, good acting and non-kidnapping. So, yeah, you know, got got back into the kidnapping. It was cool. Um, other than that, still been working on my washing machine. It's still broken. You think that it would be easy to fix? Because I, not only I know what the problem is... I know what part's broken. So you think that would be easy, but in fact, not. Well, anyway, I uh, just wanted to say, uh, you know, I don't have anything else for the show, and I'm sure Shazam. You have anything oh. else? All right, well, 
Oh, if we don't have anything else for the show, uh, just tell the guys uh, or everybody listening, guys, gals, whatever. I always say guys, but whatever. Um, you know, thanks for listening. Uh, I, I, re- I enjoy I enjoy it. I'm sure Shazam loves it a whole bunch. And I'll just tell y'all guys bye, and I'll, I'll, uh, I'll let Shazam say goodbye and close the show, sir. You've been listening to episode two, two, two of the Shattered Soulstone, your Diablo community podcast. Missed an episode. You can find the show's blog and listen to the show archives at www.shatteredsoulstone.com. With your support, you can help the show grow. Become a Patreon today, patreon.com slash soulstone. Come join us in-game, our in-game community and clan, both named Shattered Soulstone. are open to anyone who would like to join. You can also join us on Discord for the ultimate, ultimate team and community-based experience. Find the Discord invitation link on Twitter and Facebook page, as well as our Shattered Soulstone website. Shows powered by you, the listener. Send in your contributions. Thoughts, questions, and feedback to show at ShatteredSoulStone.com. We love Twitter. Come join and tweet with us. You can find the show's Twitter at Shattered Stone, Vesper at Vespertilio1189, Dead Greed at Dead Greed1812, and me at Shazam081. You can find the show's Facebook page at Facebook.com slash Shattered Soulstone. And Vespertilio at Facebook.com slash Vespertilio1189. We would like to extend a huge thank you to Medros of Don Forge Productions for hosting our Loot Deviant show. You can find more shows from the Don Forge at www.thedonforge.com. Thank you for listening. Until next time, from all of us here at the Shattered Soulstone. Over 221 episodes for your listening pleasure. Don Don Forge. Forge.